Hi, my name is Larry Ingleton and I come from Ballinrobe originally and I learned to, to play a cornet in the tone band in Ballinrobe in 1947 and uh, eventually I came to Westford in 1953 and I opened a barber shop. That was the reason I came to, to this town. And, uh, you still cut here? You no, still work? I'm not cutting it any longer. No, okay. <laughs> You're not long stopped? <laughs> not too long stopped. I joined the town band in 1954 and I only played maybe in St. Patrick's Day with them and uh, the session Sunday and apart from that I didn't do much in the beginning. Later on then I, I did a fair deal with them. And were there many in the band that time? Oh, there were at least 30. At least 30. 30. I mean, Connell was the um, band master. He was a great musician. He, he'd be a uh, grandfather now of Frank McCaffrey's. And he kept it going for many years. And when was the band founded? Uh, I think it's about um, 1892. 1892. Yeah. 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 It was centenary about 20 years ago, but I'll leave, leave it at it. I think about that. So it's a very old band? Very old band, yes. And uh, never ceased to exist once it started. No breaks? No, no break at all. No, that's fantastic, isn't it? Yes. You've taught a lot of young people music over the years? 30, yes. It's mostly brass, is it? But mostly brass, yeah. Mostly brass. Mostly brass I play myself, yeah. And you played more than in, uh, the, band, in the brass bands. You played other bands as well, did it? Yeah, we had, I had a band of my own in the 50s. And, uh, and who was in that band with you? Uh, um, Mike Kennedy was, was, uh, is one of the surviving members now. Austin Foley and Robbie Gavin from Ben Clear. And uh, Mike was still living in, in, in Zimbabwe. He used to play with us, and uh, we packed that in then in 57, I went across to England to do a lady service, and came back again and reformed, and that was it. The same band, yeah? Same band, yeah. And then you got involved in jazz, did you, or was it always jazz, or were you...? I was always jazz orientated, but uh, never got a good chance to play jazz fully until 1982. We started the West Coast Jazz here, you know, Feeney and a few of us got it together. Who else is with yourself and Noel? Noel and uh, John Higgins. He's in yeah, Stanton from Latha. He lives in Bulgima and his brother in law, John Higgins. They were our, our rhythm section. Mm. Noel, Noel Feeney's group, which was called uh, um, Kate's Country. And mm. they were our rhythm section. And we had uh, a guy called Jackie Gibbons from Carl. He owned quite then uh, Les Flant after was there. Jackie, Jackie Jack the Porter was there, and uh, Tommy Devan replaced him on clarinet afterwards. And we had Jerry Hughes, Jerry was on the phone, and there was a Mike Roberts, of course. Mike had been played trumpet with us as well. And you still play a bit of jazz, yeah? Still play a little bit, yeah. Who do you play with now? We have a group, um, we call it the, the Yacht Team Quartet, we play in McGee's Pub once, once a month. And uh, it's a great gig in Tyre, you know, Saturday night. Did you ever get involved with the show band scene? Oh yeah, we had a show band for 12 months. Um, Jerry Hughes was involved in that. And um, Michael Kelly from town here as well. My brother Chris was playing drums with us. And uh, Paulie Wright, he played lead guitar. And uh, there was a fellow called Joe Ratband, who was an American born, and I like lived in town at the time. He, uh, he was our lead singer. But we kept it going for about 12 months. What year was that about? That was 65 to 66. 66. And what did you call the band? The Dream Beats, would you believe? Dream Reads. Dream Beats. Dream Beats? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mary, did you ever dance the Dream Beats? No, I did it before my time. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, you were a long time involved in music too, weren't you? I am, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm what? involved in music really since I was about 14 years of age. Mm. And you sing? Playing music. Play music. You sing? Try. You're a good singer. Oh, you're a good singer. I've heard you sing. Yeah. So, what do you play? <laughs> well, I started when I was about 14 on piano and uh, did all my grades and qualified the year to believe in cert. I qualified on piano and as a piano teacher. And after I got married, taught piano for years. And um, when my eldest boy, Raymond, was about 12, he got to join the brass band and he came into the brass band and I went in with him. I joined the brass band then. And uh, he started on clarinet and I started playing the tenor horn. And 
Then when Brian, then my second boy came along, he joined when he was nine and he uh, learned the sax and it was uh, the late Tommy Devaney that taught Brian to play sax. In Westport? In Westport, yes. Mm. He was a Castle Bear man, wasn't he? Come, yeah, he used to come to Westport to, and it was he that taught me the um, tenor horn as well. And um, uh, like the town band has always been sort of family orientated, made up of you know, if one member of the family came in, the next thing you might have two or three members of the same family. Generations. You know? Yes. Generational yes. thing, yeah. And that's the way it has, has kept going through all the years. Um, did you ever play in a, in a group? I did, indeed. Who were you with? Oh, well, myself and my husband Tony and my brother Sean. We were known as the Hillsiders for many a long year, mm -hmm. until about five years ago. When uh, Tony, when we retired from the scene really, but I kept playing a little bit of music then. I actually uh, finished last year, but I'm still involved with the Tom Band and love, love teaching the youngsters, you know, and seeing them progress and, you know, keeping the tradition of the band going, you know, so uh, that's where I'm at today. <laughs> Did you ever play with Lenny Grimes or any of these guys, huh? I Lenny. don't think I've played. I may have, may have done just a, right. an odd gig with them, like, mm -hmm. as I did with, um, Maybe Pat Freer, you know, standing in for someone like that, you know. But we had our own, as I said, we had um, Tony and Sean and myself for, I suppose, the best part of 30 years, playing for weddings and everything like that. You, you know, do so. something in the church, do you? Yes, I used to, uh, well, I still do, maybe the odd funeral mass. I'm involved in the church folk group for, well, we're 25 years together this year now, the church folk group. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm involved in that for the last 25 years. How many instruments do you play? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> really shot. Oh, let me see. What well, yeah. that you have in your hand? Yeah, well, this is a flugelhorn. I just okay, <laughs> right, yeah. changed the flugelhorn. I was playing corners up to last year and changed the flugelhorn. I liked the instrument. Um, I play piano, piano accordion. I can play a bit of guitar. I talk to the crystal. Um, anything, you know, I won't say any instrument, but a few instruments. Yeah. And she also plays jazz as well. She plays jazz. She plays jazz with doesn't She's playing with you, she does, yeah. Uh, Very good jazz player. Now we see Mary Avery plays, yeah. Multi talented. I don't know about that. I thank God for the talent. Yeah. You know, yeah. James, you're new. Relatively, yes. Relatively new. How would you get involved? I was a member of the group. Um, I started well, I always wanted to play, and, and uh, when I moved to Westport, uh, the opportunity came up to, to uh, join the band, and uh, I came along, found Larry, and uh, asked him if, uh, if I could come along, so he was very welcoming, and uh, invited me along, and, and uh, start from there, basically, you know. So, uh, I was also blessed to find a tutor here, a good, uh, a really good fat tutor, who uh, taught me how to play uh, initially. In the band? No, in Westport. Outside, in Westport. Okay. Right? Dan Delaney, he plays with Larry in the uh, Octagon Quartet. So he's, he's a, quite an accomplished musician. Uh, and I guess that's, that's how I started. That's how you started. There's a lot of uh, musical talent in Westport, isn't there? There's a lot of musical talent in Westport. Oh, well, great to speak. There seems to be, yeah. There is indeed. Yeah, you know much. Rooted in the you know, you'd be amazed. How does it all start, I wonder? Uh, I think really, I think it has to start when the children are young, if you can, mm. if, if you can encourage them mm. when they're young and encourage them to learn, you know, rather than put pressure on them to learn, right. let them develop a love of the music, you know. How did the pub music start here? It's very popular. Where did it start or how did it start? With the pub music? And pub music. Mm. It started way back, um, it would have been the early 60s, I think. Fancy Canning, I think, and Pat Gale. Poor Patty, he'd be Patsy Gill's uh, son. Uh, he was killed in a car in a motorbike accident uh, up at Maroon Harbour. And, uh, and they started with singing pubs, the original singing pubs. In the 60s? In, in the 60s, it would be. Yeah. In Heenan's pub. And what did Pat play that time? Pat played guitar and sang. Pat played guitar, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got involved, you got involved in that, were you? Not, not so much, no? Which? Were you involved in that? No. No. Do you involve in the Mary, were you? Oh, yes. That, that was the scene. That, that was the scene, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my... Indeed, it was how I met my husband, mm. through playing music. <laughs> 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 playing music, and that was the scene, yeah, the, the pub scene. Yeah. Of course, that has all changed in the last couple of years now. That mm. scene's gone, more or less. You know, mm, it's going back, is it? 
Yeah. See, it's still coming back. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it will never be like it was, I'd say, the 70s, you know. Uh, it's, it's a different scene yeah. now, you know. You do remember the family in the 70s, Mary? Hmm? Yeah, the quick family. Your well, brother. Yeah. The family, all the family. That's right, yeah. yeah. yeah we, 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 we did all our family. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. It was important too, yeah. like, you know. But. So, what age are you now, Larry? Uh, be actually three in this coming May, hopefully, yeah. I can make it. I have long to go now, so I <laughs> should be able to make it. <laughs> well, I suppose you'll play as long as you breathe. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the, the best of